Hi there. Today we're going to practice counting backwards. So what does it mean to count backwards? Well, it's the opposite of going forwards. So if we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, if we count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going forwards. But today we're going to be practicing going backwards, going the opposite direction. So we're going to go and be counting down. So let's count backwards right now. We're going to start right here. At 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we've gone all the way from 5 to 1 backwards. So you guys are so good at that. Let's practice a larger number now. Here we have the numbers 20 through 1 going backwards. So let's count back. Begin with 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's practice counting some numbers in reverse, going backwards. So if I had the number 20, what would be my next number? If you look up at your number line, you can see it right here. The next would be 19. Then what would come next? That's right, 18. And we continue going back here. Now that we've seen these numbers, 20 through 1, counting backwards, let's practice it without our number line here. We're going to go on a little space adventure. We have an alien, his name is Z, and Z has a little bit of an issue. Z has to get back to his rocket ship. He's walked all the way out here into space, and he's realized he's forgotten something in the rocket. So now he's got to walk back. So if he takes one step back from where he is, what step will he be on? We can see he's on the sixth step right now. So if he goes back one, where will he be? That's right. He'll be at five. Now he has to go back another step. Where will he be? That's right, four. Steps back another one. Three. One more step back to his rocket ship. He's at two. And what step is he going to be at once he's gone all the way back? That's right. He'll be at one. So he had to go from step six all the way back to step one to get to his rocket ship. Now we can go on lots of more adventures. Thanks for helping out, Z. Now, we have a group of fruit here. We have five apples. And I'm very hungry, and I decide to eat one apple. So we have five, and I eat one of these apples. Now one apple's gone. If we count back, we can tell how many apples we have. So we're at five, and I ate one. So what am I going to be at now? That's right. I'd have four apples left. I'd eaten one, and now I'd have four. What if I ate two more apples? Where would I be then? How many apples would I have left? That's at five, four, this would be three, and now I'd have two apples left. And then if I ate that apple, because I was super hungry, what would I have left? Go back one more, and I'd have one apple left. In review, counting backwards is the opposite of counting forwards. We're going back along the numbers. Okay, so let's review and count back once more from 10. So if I was at 10, my next number would be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So practicing counting backwards will help you in future math lessons when you're adding and subtracting. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you later about math.